Audi SkySphere. The future looks fully autonomous. Have you ever heard about the shape-shifting electric car that can grow by 250 millimeters at a touch of a button? That's Audi's new concept car dubbed SkySphere. Audi SkySphere redefines the future of luxury with world-class experience, showing that the future is no longer just about driving. The German automaker released some amazing features of the new concept car. Join us as we explore the Audi SkySphere in detail. As always, the most interesting facts are kept at the end. When Audi pairs an electric powertrain with over-the-top luxury amenities and advanced technologies, it results in something that even Batman would find over-the-top. The German automaker concept car points towards a future where your autonomous car can drive you while you relax and enjoy the scenery, then turn into a sporty roadster when you feel like handling the wheel. Audi unveiled the futuristic electric vehicle concept at the 2021 Monterey Car Week. The high-end car festival is held annually in California in August and features car shows, races, auctions, and more. The SkySphere is the first in a family of Audi's concept cars. It's designed to illustrate the company's vision for the future of luxury cars, combining automation, interior design, and a digital ecosystem. This sleek, villainous-looking convertible, SkySphere looks like a piece dropped by an alien race. The look of the car screams the future, and the shape-shifting feature makes the car pretty impressive. Tipping a hat to the 1937 Hork 853 Roadster, the SkySphere was created digitally by Gail Buzon, team at Audi Designs Loft in Malibu, California, after which it was transformed into an actual vehicle prototype in Germany. To give passengers a world-class experience, the Audi SkySphere concept was designed for two different driving experiences, a grand touring experience and a sports experience. With the touch of a virtual button, the driver can take advantage of their freedom and choose their own driving experience. Based on the driving mode, the SkySphere's entire front end can extend or shrink, even the interior transforms. The SkySphere is an actual transformer. Audi achieved this auto transformer using a spectacular technical detail, the variable wheelbase. Electric motors and a sophisticated mechanism with body and frame components that slide into one another make it possible to vary the wheelbase itself and the exterior length of the car by 10 feet. At the same time, the vehicle's ground clearance is adjusted by 10 millimeters to enhance comfort and driving dynamics. While the dual driving mode, the driver can choose to pilot their 16.2 foot long electric roadster themselves while in the sports mode, or they can choose to be chauffeured around in a 17 foot grand touring in the autonomous driving mode, which features a long wheelbase. In its standard GT setting, the SkySphere is about as long as a full-size Audi A8 L sedan, but it shrinks to the size of an A6 in sports mode. With the Grand Touring mode, the two passengers sit behind a dashboard outfitted with a full touchscreen a 55.7 inch wide without a steering wheel or pedals. The steering wheel and pedals move into an invisible area, and the feeling of space in the concept car opens up completely new realms of possibility for the sporty convertible. In this mode, the passengers can enjoy the services offered by a seamlessly integrated digital ecosystem, as the car can connect to the internet and run video conferences or stream movies. They can also enjoy the sky and the scenery, and maximum legroom. Meanwhile, the Audi SkySphere automatically keeps an eye on the road and traffic with its sensor systems and drives the occupants safely to their destination. The sports mode features a short wheelbase and a rear wheel steering which ensures that the vehicle remains extremely agile despite its dimensions. When the sports mode button is pushed, the 4.94 meter long roadster shrinks by nearly 10 feet, shortening the distance between its front and rear wheels while bringing the dashboard closer to the passengers and presenting an instrument cluster and steering wheel for the driver. The steering wheel rises from under the dashboard, extending to the driver and revealing driving gloves discreetly stowed within a clear case. The entire dashboard screen splits in this mode, and the one on the driver's side slides to the right and pedals emerge from the footrest. While the interior loses the rigorous minimalism of pure flat screen dashboard in the Grand Touring configuration, the steering wheel doesn't necessarily spoil the space with clutter. It takes about 20 seconds for the transformation from one mode to the other to occur, and once completed, the SkySphere still looks dramatic. SkySphere features a different take on the brand's signature single-frame grille up front. The LED changes its lighting color based on the car's mode, so people can know the mode to which the car is driving with the color of the lighting. The rear also has a similar lighting scheme to show the mode. The SkySphere's interior pays homage to Art Deco architecture, and it's characterized by advanced technology and sustainability. The seats feature sustainably produced microfiber fabric, certified eucalyptus wood, and synthetic leather. 
The Skysphere is propelled by a single rear axle mounted electric motor that makes 623 horsepower and 553 pounds feet of torque. The electric motor is powered by an 80 kilowatt battery that Audi claims will produce a range of up to 311 miles. Audi divided the battery into two modes for an ideal configuration of the vehicle's center of gravity and agility. The larger mode, about 70% of the battery, is positioned behind the cabin floor ahead of the rear axle. In comparison, the smaller module, about 30%, is placed in between the seats in the central tunnel of the Skysphere interior. Audi chooses the central tunnel position in favor of the vehicle's dynamics. The German automaker claims that the Skysphere can sprint from 0 to 62 miles per hour in around 4 seconds for its 3,968 pound weight. Audi says that the power would be easy to harness because 60% of the weight is on the rear. Internal combustion cars focus on creating as close to a 50 to 50 weight distribution between the front and back of the vehicle, but the Skysphere's balance tilts heavily towards the tail, yielding a front to rear weight balance of a 40 to 60 ratio. And while the compressible wheelbase would make the car turn more effortlessly, it's also complemented by four-wheel steering. Audi has 270 kilowatts charging for its new electric vehicle line, the e-tron GT, which will be available later this year. But it didn't quote charging times for the Skysphere concept. And despite Audi's well-known history of using Quattro all-wheel drive, the Skysphere uses a rear-wheel drive configuration. Also, its suspension features double wishbone front and rear three-chamber air springs and adaptive dampers on all four corners. Rear axle steering shortens the turning radius, and a steer-by-wire system allows for variable weights and ratios. The car also has an active suspension to raise or lower the tires to compensate for the road surface. Given the sportiness and the silhouette of the Skysphere, there's actually space for a custom luggage set. The hyperbolically long hood splits down the middle and opens to reveal a trunk large enough for two sets of golf clubs. Around the back, a small cargo compartment holds a specifically designed set of luggage for a weekend's worth of wearables. Audi revealed that it has no plans to build the Skysphere, and this shouldn't come as a surprise because it's just like the 2018's PB18 e-tron concept, which never saw the daylight. The concept hinges on the realization of Level 4 autonomous driving technology which is the ability to fully self-drive without any need for human intervention within limited, predetermined environments or conditions. While that level of self-driving is still in development both technologically and legislatively, its desirability grows if your car could someday transform into a sporty roadster or a grand tour for a fun weekend getaway. The car reflects some of Audi's new design language, and it also drives home the fact that Audi believes people will always want to drive in an increasingly driverless world. The carmaker plans to completely pivot to all electric vehicles, selling only electric vehicle models beginning in 2026. It also says it will gradually phase out manufacturing cars powered by diesel and gas by 2033. So what did you think about the Audi Skysphere? Did you like the video? Now let's watch another fantastic video from our channel, and I'll meet you there.